Today we're going to be making one of the recipes from my new cookbook, which is Super Healthy Snacks and Treats. Um, and we're going to actually be making the raw tartlets. Um, everything in the book you'll see is free from wheat, dairy, sugar, gluten, eggs and soy. Um, and this is no exception. The tartlets are super easy to make. They'll take like all of 15 minutes and they will impress any dinner party guests who won't know that they're actually super healthy. So we're actually going to make two flavours of raw tartlets, a mint chocolate and a raw key lime pie. And the first thing we're going to do um, is the base, and that's going to be the base of both of the tarts. And you're going to get about a cup of almonds and process them in your food processor until like a fine meal kind of form. And then you're going to go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients. So you've got about three quarter cups of dates about two tablespoons of shredded coconut which will add flavor and texture and you don't need to be exactly precise with this kind of thing because you're not baking any of it so um, if you get it kind of approximate that's fine too then you're going to take about two teaspoons of coconut oil and this is going to help it firm up um, and have it set when you put it in the fridge later on and then, yeah, and I also love this brand of coconut oil, which is Lucy B coconut oil. Um, I use it for everything. And then you're going to add a pinch of salt as well, which is going to help bring out the sweetness. So the mixture now you'll see is kind of really started to incorporate and it's kind of crumbled. And that's when you'll know that it's ready. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take bits, pinch off pieces, about a quarter of the batter, and then take a bit off and press it into your tartlet mold. And your mold is going to look something like this, and then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the next three, and then place them in the fridge to set. So to make the mint chocolate filling, your ingredients are super simple. Put in your banana, maple syrup. And maple syrup is actually my favorite sweetener because it's just completely natural, totally unprocessed. You know, nothing has been done to it um, since it came off the tree. And you're going to use coconut oil again, as I said, it's going to help set everything. So when you put it in your fridge, it's going to help it firm up. And then your cocoa powder. You can use raw cocoa powder or um, normal cocoa powder, it's completely up to you. And then and you're just going to go ahead and press this out until it's smooth. So when that's smooth, um, you, what you're going to do is just spoon it into your tartlet molds. And this makes about enough for two of the tartlet molds. So the idea being that you have two mint chocolate ones and two uh, key lime pie ones. But of course you can just double this if you only want the chocolate or you can double the, the key lime. It's totally up to you. So the next filling we're going to go ahead and do is a key lime pie filling. And if you've ever had a key lime pie before, you'll know that it's like a sweet, creamy, slightly tart um, filling, but of course we're going to make a healthy version of it. So again, you use a banana, but this time only half. Um, a full avocado. And actually, it's a good way, you'll see mine is slightly browned, and it doesn't matter at all in this recipe, so it's a good way to use old avocados. And the juice of one lime that I've gone ahead and um, squeezed ahead of time. And then about two and a half tablespoons of maple syrup. You don't have to get this exactly right because it's a raw recipe. You know, nothing um, has to be as precise as, like, for example, when you're baking stuff. And then the same amount of coconut oil as we used before, which is about 60 ml, quarter cup. There you go. Again, it's just completely liquid. Make sure that there's no chunks of avocado in there or anything. And then you just spoon it back into the remaining tartlet molds. So I've just taken these out of the freezer. They've been in there for about 15 minutes. And then you just take a fork and enjoy. Um, and so let us know if you have any questions. Um, in the comments below, share this on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can tag me. I'm at Jenna Zoe. Um, and yeah, let us know what you think. Mm.